I've updated our syllabus to reflect uh, the members who are in the class and then also how we're going to be managing our peer-to-peer -peer reviews. So you'll see this as a syllabus uh, up uh, as the updated version. So this part here, I just uh, let everybody know where my office was located in KHS. Um, and that's a, a lab place as well, so just knock on the door uh, during office hours. So as we mentioned before, there's parts where you're going to be uh, giving um, uh, doing peer-to-peer -peer reviews and so forth. So I specified according to what we went through in class and uh, outlined some of the things that we had. So next time we're gonna have library slash open office hours. Then on the fourth we have a holiday and then on the sixth uh, library and open office hours again. And then um, and so that's where you can find me is at KHS uh, 2269. So just uh, you can reach out to me and you can text me if you want if you uh, but that's uh, that's where I'll I'll be during that time, and um, we can connect that way. Uh, so, uh, what else? So the other thing is that peer-to-peer um, -peer reviews uh, for the proposal. So this is the way that it's going to work: is that um, when you guys come in on the 11th, um, AMSAC through DeVries is going to be coming in for this peer-to-peer -peer review. So what does that what does that look like? What that means is that we've got 10 minutes scheduled. Um, for the two of us. So Alyssa and Kerrigan will be coming through um, and during that 10 minute period we'll go through the um, material that they've actually put together so far for the proposal. So they'll be working together. You uh, will have a conversation with me. The two of you will be having a conversation with me and I'll open up both of your different documents and then we'll, I'll make comments uh, and, and address questions that you have. Afterwards, um, or beforehand, whatever you'd like to do, you have a chance to be able to kind of work with your peer as well to be able to get feedback from them as well as does this make sense, does this not work, et cetera, et cetera. So um, that's the, uh, a, a chance for you guys to help work out and, and support each other as you're going through it. I've broken this up into 10 minute increments with a three minute gap in between them. So we have to be really rigorous about when we actually, uh, when you guys come. So don't be late. Uh, and, um, and, then, uh, the, and then just try to make sure you're on time as we go through this because it's gonna be uh, a tight schedule as we try to go through it. So what do, you, what do I mean by having things on Google Docs and what does that look like? So what we have basically is if we take something like what we have uh, here and under Google Docs, if we go ahead and look under um, the drive, what you can do is then take a particular document of interest that you wanted to share. Let's say that you wanted to share this 291 lab with me for whatever reason. Add it as a um, as a contact and then type in my, uh, my email address as taylormayer at gbsu.edu and then in the note be sure to add your name so let's say that it's like you know um, uh, hello uh, this is uh, you know uh, Samuel Jackson um, <laughs> and then um, so that's uh, who is actually submitting it and um, this is my uh, BMS 495 proposal so defining what it is uh, so that uh, as these start to accumulate during the semester, I can be able to sort them effectively and help you um, is really good. And then having your name in there as well. So um, that's uh, the key information there. Also, if you have any other uh, you know, questions that you want to add, you can do so here. Or you can also do it in the um, just regular email. So that's how we do it. Then what I'll do is I'll be able to go and look at the, the, uh, the documents that are shared with me. Um, so I'm just gonna cancel out of that real quick since um, I'm not gonna do it. And, um, and then I can go to what's uh, shared with me and then I can uh, click on it, open it up, and then uh, go ahead and, and start to modify and make comments on the document as we go along. So it'll move pretty quickly as we go through these different documents, but I think it will be pretty effective. And I, the peer-to-peer -peer part's really important as well. I, I do expect you guys to give, you, uh, give each other ex um, helpful feedback in terms of what makes sense and what doesn't make sense and, and whether you follow it or not and just basically moral support. So that's what we've got so far for the peer-to-peer -peer reviews. Um, the other thing that I've done is um, we can see those peer-to-peer -peer reviews. I specified that on the 11th, the 13th, then we have the second round of peer-to-peer -peer reviews. Then it's back to open office hours and library time. The 18th peer-to-peer -peer review outline again, similar to what we had before. This time we're going through the outline with the references. Same kind of setup as what we have 
um, that I just described before going through the proposal. No class on the 27th. There's a grand challenges in Parkinson's disease, so definitely check that out. It's uh, You have to register before the 10th of September. Um, and then what we have is, um, again, peer review, peer-to-peer -peer review again, happening again for um, the first draft of the paper. So you guys uh, that are paired together will get to know each other really well um, in terms of how your um, and what your topics are and as you're going through it. So um, a change-up happens on the 15th or the, uh, the week of the 15th when I start meeting just four people at a time. This is when you're actually going through your revision of the paper and you're digging into it more. So this is the part where uh, I'm going to meet with each of you uh, individually uh, during that time. So um, well, I'll send out a stricter schedule as the time approaches or when you actually want to uh, want to come through. But these are the days that are listed for you. And then we'll get into the student presentations that come up uh, during this period. So those will be assigned um, probably in the next couple of weeks. But um, I'm holding off on that until we progress a little further in the class. All right, thanks and um, looking forward to seeing you guys. So I will see you uh, next time on the 11th of September. Okay, good luck. Email me with any questions you have or stop by office hours um, either during the class itself or my regular office hours which run from 10, uh, 10 to 11.30 on Tuesday and Thursday, and then also, um, uh, yeah, let's change that, how about 10 to 11.30, and on Tuesday, Thursday, and then also um, on Thursday, rather Tuesday, sorry, uh, 1 to 2.30. All right, or by appointment. And um, we will see you then. Thanks. Bye.